you for quite some time now. And I must be honest with you, I am not impressed. You go out every day, come back late, so nonchalant about everything at home. My son, what is going on? Nothing, no. Only hang out with friends. And what kind of friends will make you keep such late nights? You are 17 years old, for goodness sake. And too young to keep such friends that will influence you negatively. Or is there something you are not telling your mother? Oh, what? I said I only hang out with friends, and that's all. I said I'm no longer a kid. Oh! That is very interesting. Very interesting. My son says he's no longer a kid. <laughs> Daniel, I hope you have not started seeing that lose good for nothing nurse. I hope she's not the one behind all this. Oh, mommy, not again. Please, keep the shot of this. Okay. Okay. I believe you because I choose to believe my son. I believe you. You have already given her a pet name. What did you say her name is? Dosh. Uh-huh. Dosh. Dosh. Good. Okay. I just hope she's not behind this. Darling. Our son is being led astray. I have this feeling that he is still seeing that girl. Otherwise, God will be responsible for his behavior lately. Eh? Let's do something before it gets worse too. Are you sure of what you're saying? Or you're just assuming things? How can you be able to confirm what you're saying? I am not assuming anything. My instinct never fails me. That girl is still taking advantage of our son. And it is high time we do something. Before it escalates. I'm glad you're beginning to face reality. You're beginning to see things for yourself. You have always been overprotective of that young man. You never see anything wrong in whatever he does. I'm glad you're seeing things for yourself. Tell me, please. Let us not begin to apportion blames to each other. Let's do something. Let's do something fast before the thing gets out of hand. At least, let's put a stop to it. Eh? We both of us cannot sit down there and the common nurse will just destroy the future of our son. And where is he now? I think he should be somewhere outside. Okay. I know what to do. Come back to me. My son, this one was stayed here, you know. I hope nothing travels here. Mm? Mom, I'm in love with Dutch. I don't care what your dad has to say about it. Daniel, are you out of your mind? Eh? That girl took advantage of you. She abused you right there at the hospital. And she's bent on destroying your future. Mom, I love Dutch. And that is all that matters. <laughs> I was a victim, but I didn't complain. I don't want to ruin my happiness. Happiness? Then you did say happiness. You are being manipulated by that girl. And I can see that she has succeeded in helping a chance that your truth. Mom, that is the best thing that happened to my life. I love her, and there's nothing I can do about it. You must be out of your mind. You are truly out of your senses. You have totally lost it. But I will make sure that your father hears about this. Nonsense! What kind of nonsense story is this? Eh? I can't sit down here and watch you destroy this family. No, I will not allow you. Not in this home. Look at you, I'm talking to him and he's shaking his head. An uncle does not agree on that plastic. Nonsense! Rubbish! Dodge! I'm coming.
all that yesterday. Well, a nice house. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. so, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I am. I still feel that way, really. Mm -hmm. You know, once in a while, every time I take a drive, it's a nice home shop. Sorry. Yeah. So, how are you? Very well. I missed you, you know. You missed me? Yeah. Come on, I was with you yesterday. Yes, I know you were with me at the hospital, but you see, the thoughts of you, it clouds me, it kind of peace me. I mean, like, when I wake up in the morning, it's you I have in my head, and you're the last thing on my mind before I go to bed. <clears throat> well, this is just the beginning. You're saying it's going to be a Very soon. I'll be the only name. Do you feel so much pain? Um, just, just, just what do you have? Well, um, I have quite a lot, uh, but uh, still I have a very good fridge in my bedroom. Your bedroom? Yeah. It's still getting there. Just don't be too. suddenly become a stammerer. I, I want to see a friend. An old friend. And who is this your old friend, if I may ask? A boy or a girl? A boy. I see. And you're coming back this late. Huh? Daniel, you at it again. I hope that stupid, useless nurse has not bewitched you. And I'm very sure you are still seeing her, in spite of all my warnings. Right? Young man, this is the last time you step out of this house and come back this late without informing anyone where you're going. Did I make myself clear? Yes, Dad. <laughs> Go to help that company of famous. If she still continues to take advantage of her son, I will make sure she loses her certificate. Trust me, darling. We have to do something to save our son from this mere lack of juvenile delinquency. And that nurse is taking advantage of him. She's using him. Honey, let's not be so much in a hurry to jump into a conclusion that is not right. All we need to do is keep a close watch on him, especially you. Because you are the one that's always pacified him every time he does something wrong. Mm -hmm. My back hurts terribly. The nurse on duty last night was really messed with the injections. It was really very, very painful. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, now we all know that I am an expert in human bodies. <laughs> I know exactly where to pump my needles. <laughs> yeah, yours is really truly painless. Okay, so it's a <clears throat> yeah. 
Obviously, you won't feel any pain. Easy. 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 Yeah, that's it. Mm. So, how was it? This is really true. <laughs> I live to say. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, bro. You're welcome. You know, I'm beginning to think like you're the best news here. What does a really, really very good thing? Thank you. But please don't let my envy hear that. <laughs> you trust me. So, you get well pretty soon? Yeah. And you eat well? Yeah. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Alright, I will be back. You too. Yeah. Thank you. You'll be fine, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Yoshima, how do you do it? Do what? I mean, how do you charm them? They eat from your palm like hungry birds. You're so good at what you do. Well, isn't that what they taught us in nursing school? Hmm? To calm our patients while we pump their veins with chemicals. Anyway, <clears throat> as I said before, I live to serve the patients. Anything, anything to make my patients feel less pain and happy. That's it. So let's go. Are you done with him? So both of you, be good, no late night gist, alright? I made it categorically clear that you should stay away from my family and I. And good morning to you too, darling. You look good. Rishma, you are not answering my question. Why would you call my house number after I made it crystal clear that it's over mm. between us? Well, when has it become a wrongdoing to call a friend and know how he is doing? You told me, Dushma. Because the last time I checked, you still had my number. So what stopped you from calling? Well, maybe I tried to reach you and I could not, oh? Maybe I just wanted to call your house phone, whichever way. Meanwhile, what is this morning harassment about? What is it about? What? Now listen to me, you bitch. I want you to stay away from my wife. If you think that she would be stupid enough to allow what we are trying to review, just slip away simply because a pathetic bitch like you don't understand the word it's over, then you are in for a bumpy ride. Wait, let me ask you. If you trust and you believe in this your wife so much, what are you doing standing here talking to me this early morning? Toshima, you are such a pathetic, lonely woman. I will shout. Yes, the pathetic woman that nurtured you back to health when your wife abandoned you. Excuse me. It was your duty to do all that. After all, I paid for your services. <laughs> hey. Now, look at me very, very well. Look at me very well. I am still Doshima. Nobody tells me when to stop. I am the one that will stop when I want to. You don't have a right to do whatever you want with me and get away with it. You don't. Now, let me tell you something. If you do, I want you to stay away from my family. If you come within 10,000 miles close to my family again, I will so much deal with you. But you will not forget in your heart. I will tell your MD exactly the kind of bitch that you are. But when I'm done with you, you will never work in any hospital as a nurse. Stay away from my family. I am not mixing my words. Stay away. Good day. Oh, what, what, what are you 
doing here? Is this the best way to greet your mother? <laughs> Mama, good afternoon, but I wasn't expecting you here today. No, I mean, you didn't tell me you were traveling from the village to the city. Did you tell me you were going for surgery? Mama, these things happen. I was well one minute, I was okay one minute, then I was rushed to the hospital, but right now I'm okay. Oh, my feet are really fine. I mean, you didn't have to come all the way from the village to... What? Are you better now? I'm, I'm, I'm better. I'm good. You sure? Uh, yes, I'm good. I'm okay. Really. Ah. Ah. That's the problem. You worry too much. I mean, you shouldn't have just come here. No, because I know what you're here to do now. You're here to pamper me, make me feel like I'm one little five-year-old. Sorry, now. Ah. Mm. Now you better now. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm, I'm really good. Just leave me right now. Please, I'm sorry, ma. You'll be fine. I'm sorry, ma. Doctor, I hope you won't fire her because of this. Very sorry. I shh. From now on, even three weeks suspension with no pay. After three weeks, we'll decide if you're going to remain with us or not. But doctor, the patient is okay, and then the swelling will still still go up as usual. Please, you won't cease to amaze me, young lady. I think this is about her smiling face. A patient came to the hospital and you, nurse, prescribed painkiller. Yes, she was in pain, but you should have voted for her doctor. Doctor, ah, I'm still talking, young lady. Earlier this morning, you missed a patient drop. Thank God, no, Joy saw it and arrested the situation immediately. It is little mistakes like this that actually leads to death. I agree, doctor. I really do agree with you. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's just that I, I got this terrible news this morning. It just messed up my day. Please, I'm sorry. I, I, I'll never make this kind of mistake again. I promise, doctor. Please. Most of us actually do walk around with our parents. But they still do not stop us from carrying out our duties. 
But since you've shown me that you cannot handle both, I do even think you need a break. Doctor, oh, please. Please, I beg you. You can take the pain. But oh, oh, please, don't push me away. Please, Doctor. Drop all the hospital equipment and fights with you with Dr. Chidu, okay? After three weeks, we'll decide if you're going to remain with us or not. <sighs> Dr. please. Go to your place. line of business we have to be very focused it's a very thin gap between life and death so what I made was really a costly mistake anything would have gone wrong. I shouldn't have made that kind of mistake I know I understand that but you were such a good loss that should be put into consideration too <sighs> yeah well I would say I'm still very lucky I was suspended maybe after three weeks they might call me back who knows I hope so so what are you going to do now man babe I don't like to you. I, I just want to get into that car, put myself in order, what I had in there, and go to a bar. Just drown my sorrow. Hey, is it not too early for that? Did you hear me? I said I want to go and feed on my sorrows. I'm not thinking like a rational human being right now. Ah. Yeah, I understand. I could come with you. <laughs> you? Maybe I'll pay for the drinks. <laughs> okay. But we'll, we'll talk about the drinks when we get there.
get up. Come and lie down on the couch. Hey, get up. Get up. Come and lie down on the couch. See my bed. No, 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 that's not it. Hey, no, no, no. Here, 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 okay? Hey. Sleep over it, okay? You get better than mommy. Actually, I just got up. I'm still like I was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, hey! Hold on, hold on, please. Listen, please. I, 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 I need to beg you about something, please. You see that thing that happened yesterday? I, yes, the whole working, everything. I beg you. I beg. I think I beg you. Don't say anything about it. Yes, so see, I see you as my friend. That is why I let you in into my world. Once in a while, I live like that just to ease out tension. Exactly. Uh -huh. That is what I'm saying. Please, oh, keep it to yourself. Oh. That's my private life. Oh. Exactly. Code. Code is the word. Code and for me, I beg. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. You're really a good friend. Thank you. Thank you. I bet could do. No decks. Uh -huh. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Who is that? Oh. Yeah, who? Don't tell me you've lost your job again. Hmm? You're just like your father. Who could not hold on to a job? What is your problem, this child? Tell me! What is your problem? Mom, what do you want? Oh. So I now need a reason to come and see you. What kind of a child are you, Doshima? I'm asking you! Mom, please! Please, please! What do you want? Listen, I don't have time for this this morning. I have to go to work. What is it? Thank God. That's good news that you found another job. But, on a second thought, with the way you change your mind, I'm sure that's how you're going to keep changing your job. I don't know where you will grow up. Yes. And I learned that from you. Really? That I learned from you and not my father, whom I never had a chance to meet. But you, on the other hand, you are a man eater. I dare not leave my man alone with you. I dare <laughs> not. <laughs> Don't you, man? You dare not. You know why? Hey, I will treat him so well that you will never be able to do it in your entire lifetime. Look at me, Doshima. At your age, I was already married. 
But look at you. All you have around you are just a bunch of users who just use you and dump you like a piece of garbage. Yes. And I have you to blame for that too. How? Your idea of marriage disgusts me. Gosh, it makes me cringe. It is so disgusting. I, I can never want to have a marriage like the ones you had. Mom, can you remember? Huh? They even had to beat you when they needed to get it up by force. And when the beating does not work, then the drugs come in handy. While wow, your little girl watched. It appears that you didn't learn anything from those experiences. Oh, no, no, Mom. I learned a lot. I learned about not being used just the way you were. No one dares use me the way they all used you up, Mom. No one. Meanwhile, what are you doing in my house? What do you want here? Why are you not out there with those miserable men beating the town red? Why? <laughs> but at least thank God. I have something warm to go back to. What do you have? This cold house and your miserable cold life? Thank you. Thank you. I agree. I have a miserable cold life. Thank you, Mom. But what do you want in this cold house? What? What do you want? Now you are talking. Shift. Let me sit down. Shift. I need to sit down. Anyway, um, I came for my rent. My landlord has threatened that if I don't pay today, he will throw me out. That's why I'm here, my house rent. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so, all those men you camp in that house of yours cannot contribute. Because I know when they start contributing one by one, it will make up little money for you to pay your landlord. But they will not. You will camp them there for free. Then you will come back to your daughter who you claim is always being used to ask for house rent, have you? Excuse me. Don't you mind you're talking to me like that. You will come and meet me here because I'm going nowhere. Keep this fire here for a while. Doctor? Yeah? This patient is supposed to take her first injection now. This ought to be in the injection room. Well, she asked if the shima is on duty. I told her the shima is on suspension. And she insisted that she would rather go back to a former hospital than allow anybody attend to her. You mean Benoni Hospital? Yes. Our very competitor. So, just keep the fire here. Okay. I believe she will return. Do I look like a mother or one of these hospitals anyway? Now what? A patient's mother admission owns the shima. Saying she knows how to handle her child without leaving marks on her bone. Like me, they listen to the shima when she tells it what to do. <laughs> Look, this is 
not funny. Mm -hmm. In the past few weeks since Doshima left, everything took a new turn. Patient complained about me. Little thing, I became incompetent overnight. <sighs> when I even think of it now, there is nothing spectacular about this Doshima Senos. <laughs> Unless her pretty face made her dance seem nice. I can see you're really having a bad day. Doshima has something so much for the lack. The first thing every nurse should have. A degree, of course. Mm -mm. You know what I say about Doshima? Doshima cares for the patient. She feels the patient's pain. Not the care that comes just along with the job, but she cares from the heart. You know, the patients, they really see through us and know if we really care for them. And Doshima cares. Doshima is a born nurse. You and I, we are just trained nurses. Doshima, I'm here to do my job. I don't care about my patient's life. They should just turn their backside so I can stick the needle with them and move on to the next patient. Can you imagine? The earlier they stop calling Doshima, the easier our relationship will be. <laughs> oh my God! Please don't come back or we need you here. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> How come you're not eating? Eh? I'm full. Don't give me that too. Please. Well, I think it's high time you realize that I am a man now. I mean, I can take care of myself. All this pampering, I mean, it's just not for me, really. I'm a full-blown adult. Really? Yes, really. Why did I even bother myself come here to take care of you? Well, well, I'm not going to that angle, okay? What I'm saying is stop stressing out. Stop it. I mean, you're making me feel like I'm a five-year-old. I'm an adult. I live in this house by myself. I can take care of me. I don't need you to do that for me. You know what you do, eh? Just go ahead and take care of yourself, okay? some other time. Uh -huh. My mom is in there, you know, and we've been at each other for some time right now. Your mom? Yes. Your mom is here? Yes. Wow, mother's like me. Let me see. No, 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 you don't want to see my mother right now, okay? I tell you, she has been so mad at me, I need to make things right with her and get her back to her sane state. Hey, stop thinking nonsense, okay? Nothing. It's just my mom in here. So stop. Okay. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, but you have to bring me. Okay, tell me how. Just there. Okay, you're gonna leave that on. Really? I'll let you because I know how mothers can be sometimes. Okay, so yeah. Don't worry. No, no. Don't worry. No, I won't. You won't worry. No. Bye. Alright, baby. I can just do it now. No, you did not. Of course, I did. I love you. Okay, mwah mwah. Bye, babe.
That's it. Go back to your life. I can't breathe when you're here. Who the hell do you think you are? You ungrateful child. That's no way to treat a mother that didn't abandon you even when your father left. How dare you? <laughs> How? How were you there for me? How? You did not care what those men did to me? You didn't care as long as they kept coming back to you. That was all you cared about. That was all you wanted. Until I learned the game. Until I learned how to control them. Oh God, please, please. Don't tell me you still holding on to those lies. Who will desire to go when they have a roof in front of them? Tell me. Your problem, though she might, that you like to play the part of a victim. But you're just an ungrateful child. You were never a mother to me. You did not care. If I lived or died, I was a constant reminder of the abortion you never had. The one who ruined your life. Oh yes, you ruined my life, Joshua. You did. You prevented every chance that I had for a decent man to marry me. You turned me into an after one. You destroyed my shape. But what did I do in return for you? I didn't abandon you, did I? I made sure you had a roof over your head, clothes on your back. I provided for your every need. What else were you expecting me to do as a mother? Tell me, what else? Nonsense. And you watched those men defile me again and again and again. In a few years, you realize that a woman's time is short. Toshima, I couldn't compete any longer. I needed those, no rather, we needed those men to survive. What else would I have done under the circumstances? Tell me. What else? I was helpless. I didn't have a choice. I didn't. Every decent mother would have protected the child, no matter what. But I don't expect you to understand that. I don't. Because life has always been about you. You've always been selfish. It's always been about you. Doshima. Oh my God. You can say this to me. Oh!
So she could sleep. Besides, there was no doctor on duty, and the mission was only around the stool. So I should be this morning. She's crying again. Hey, see who we have here. Hey, hey. I'm fine. Yes. Are you going to resume work today? Well, I'm here. Hey, Nice shirt. Is he right? Yeah, it's good. Yes. Good. Did he have already sending you gifts from the UK? Is she not coming back here? <laughs> of course she won't come. Huh? She won't come back. And it's noted you're one of those who didn't get while get while we well in self pity. I bet Dr. Agnes, Pacha, he didn't get you anything. <laughs> no part of that is No part of you anything. <laughs> Don't take your calls and you're never at home. What's going on? What's up? 
But I told you I was going to my family house. Your family house? Yes. <laughs> Come on. Why am I here? If you needed someone to take care of you, why didn't you just call me? I would have rushed down here and I would have been with you till you weren't able to leave. Look, this is not what you think. It's not like that. Look, I needed to get to my family house to sort out family issues. I mean, sometimes a man needs to be alone to reminisce on his life and think about what next. But I, I cannot remember you telling me that you needed some time off. Or you think I'm a night reader too? You know, that's the problem. You see, this is why relationships will always be a hustle. One minute you think you have a girlfriend who's a mature lady and understanding, next minute she starts to act like some teenager who just fell in love for the first time. Why does that ever happen? What's up with that? No, tell me. You know what? I'm leaving. I've had enough for one day. I'll be. Where are you going? What is wrong with you? Why are you leaving? He's just shut Excuse me, did you say I should shut up? Oh, yes, I said shut up. Shut up! I should shut up! I'm very grateful, Doctor. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you. Don't you, Ma? About your salary, you can go to the accounts department to solve that out with them. Um, doctor, I, I thought... Ah, we told you your salary won't change anything. But see this as an act of kindness. The very last door that I will do for you until you prove yourself. I will. Thank you. I'm very grateful, Ma. God bless you, Ma. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Mm. I see someone has been a good boy. <laughs> and the good boys deserve some reward, don't they? Not so fast, because I remember that a promise was made over the phone. Oh, you're right. I didn't forget you that I came prepared. 
栄養。うん。<笑> I see someone is being very generous. And generosity deserves to be reciprocated. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Discuss that with Greg. Um, he'll sort you out. Okay. Hey, come on, later. <laughs> Nobody has to tell you to sit up when you see what others are doing. Then you have no choice but to go. Hey, I wish I had that kind of money to attend a course like that. <laughs> Maybe someday there. <laughs> hey, hi there. Oh, hi there. Hi. My name is Lydia. I was too busy earlier in the day to introduce myself. Oh, my name is Doshima. What a lovely name. Where are you from? I'm from Benin State. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it here. Oh, well, yeah. Dosh is such a wonderful and terrific nurse. Majority of our patients like her already. Wow. That's it's great. Yeah. It makes treatment easier when they trust you. But one has to be very careful not to get into emotions. Getting too close to patients have some risks. In medicine. Well, yes, you're right a little, but I think you have to care for the patients when you treat them, you know, so they can be comfortable even in the hospital. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe what Lydia should have said is that a nurse should bring her faculty to go, so she won't miss a patient cure. Joy! No, 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 it's okay. She can rant all she wants. I don't care. Um, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. What was that for? <laughs> Never mind. Excuse me. Thank you. 
ignore us. Dr. Agnes Frank would have obviously given us a piece of her mind if she saw us this way. Oh. Never mind. No one is telling. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, you're sure you want something from uh, my office? I, I guess I'll see. Myself and Lydia were put in a lid on it. We were serious, we were not messing around. We're in love. And um, she's my fiance. We get to know it. <laughs> so, so am I supposed to say congrats to you? I am sorry. What I'm trying to say is whatever we have just has to stop. Whatever we're doing has to stop. I'm sorry I hurt you this way, but look, you deserve better. I mean, you're, you're, you're a beautiful girl. You deserve more. You're resourceful. You're, you're... It's okay. Say it. Joshua.
What's wrong with you? What? Huh? Have you no shame? <laughs> Look who he's talking about. Listen to me. The last time I tried to talk things out with you, I tried to be civil. Right now you've proven to me that it wasn't worth it one bit. Okay, all well and good. Now I'm going to say this right now. You stay away from me, dear. You understand? Stay away from my fiance. Uh, wait, what do you think? You think you can do anything you want with me and get away with it? You are lying. Go back and tell that baby fiancé of this. Tell her to get another job. Because I am going to make this place so unbearable for her. Tell her I said so. Now listen, with this your present play actor can also see that you don't want to work in this hospital. You want to lose your job, right? Why are you sounding punished? Excuse me? You never complained. Complained about what? Oh, I say you forgot to say so. When you lay on that hospital bed, you begged me for more. While you couldn't do anything. Why are you acting punished now? Why? Hey, hey, just stop. Stop. Stop there, okay? Since you've decided to hit me below the belt, I'm going to do the same. Now, this is what I'm going to do. If you do as much as go next to my fiance, I will go straight up to the MD and tell her every single thing that's been happening between us to the point of you threatening my present fiance. Then we'll see who the victim will be. Back off. Stay away from my fiance. I 
deal. Peaks. responding to treatment. Please, do take things easy. Please. Oh, don't tell me to take things easy. I brought my husband here for you to treat him. Only for him to end up with heart attack. Doing God knows what. Huh? No wonder he has been falling sick frequently for this extra service. Madam, I truly understand your plight. I am truly sorry. I am. <laughs> No. If anything happens to my husband, Dr. Brown, you will be more than sorry. Get back. 
quick. Grace Okole, and I have a complaint about one of your nurses. Uh, what she's doing to her son, Daniel. <sighs> Madam, I don't, I don't seem to understand. Yeah, you see, my son was 17 years old when he was admitted in one of the hospitals where this particular nurse worked at. She took advantage of the nurses of her son to abuse and molest him. And when we found out about what she did to her son, we made sure she was sacked from the hospital. Now, to our surprise, this Stupid, useless girl has found herself back into the life of her son. I know my son is talking about marrying her. He has left his school and has also run away from home. So I want to know where this stupid nurse is. Who? That useless girl that molested our son and abused him. I want to see her. I don't even know what the hell her name is. Doshimi or Doshima, I don't know what my son calls her. But he told me she works here in this hospital. 